Hello and welcome to Forex.Academy, your number one website for Forex and crypto education and analysis. In today's edition, we're going to be discussing market pattern trading in cryptocurrencies, head and shoulders, triangles and wedges, part one of two. Finding ways to predict the future price movement of an asset has always been incredibly hard, no matter what asset you are trading. Cryptocurrency trading differs slightly from trading other assets, as it is more volatile, much younger and susceptible to fear of missing out as well as fear of uncertainty and doubt. Although the number of factors that influence the price of a cryptocurrency is almost immeasurable, reaching milestones, partnerships, security breaches, new regulations, etc., combining this knowledge with the usage of other methods such as trend detection can be quite profitable. No matter how volatile the prices of cryptocurrencies may be at times, experienced traders can spot distinct movement patterns that allow them to predict the direction of the price movement. This guide will explain the fundamentals of three patterns that traders look for when trading cryptocurrency on various exchanges. Head and Shoulder Pattern the head and shoulder pattern is a price formation that, to an experienced trader, looked like a baseline with three peaks and nothing more. However, if we spot the middle peak is higher than the other two, which are of similar size, we can deduce that it is, in fact, the head and shoulders pattern. In technical analysis, a head and shoulders pattern is a sign of a bullish to bearish trend reversal. It is regarded as one of the most reliable, if not the most reliable, reversal pattern. As the cryptocurrency market is extremely volatile and bulls and bears constantly switch in terms of market dominance, the head and shoulders pattern would appear that the market has been dominated by the bulls. After the first price stagnation, which is the shoulder one, and the price reaches a new high, which is the head, it still may be possible that the pattern will not form and that the bulls will push the price even higher. However, after the price goes down for the second time, bulls often try to push it up again, which is the shoulder two. If they don't succeed and the price stops at the price level similar to the shoulder one, it becomes evident that bears are taking over the market. The target price in this reversal is equal to the distance from the neckline to the peak of the head, but in the opposite direction. When deciding whether to trade the head and shoulders pattern, traders should not just assume the pattern is going to play out. Instead, they should be patient and wait for the decline after the right peak to reach the neckline. Only then can they think of taking a position. Reversed head and shoulders. Traders should also look for the reversed head and shoulders pattern, which plays out exactly the same way as the regular one does, but simply in the opposite direction. This pattern marks the end of a bear season. Check out part 2 of our trading guide where we will cover various triangle formations as well as wedges. If you enjoyed the video then please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below about anything you would like us to discuss in future or if you have any questions about this particular video. Have a great day.